Wake Tech's new Eastern Wake 4.0 location is conveniently located along I-87 in Wendell. This new education and training site, which we hope will eventually grow into our seventh campus location, is all about important new connections for our college, our community, and our region. Connections to an important area of need for our county, connections to new technology and workforce training to launch us into an exciting future, and enhanced connections with our educational partners. The 106-acre site is strategically located for both our college and our county. It fronts I-87 on one side and US-64 business on the other side, with the I-540 connection only a couple of miles away. We will share the same interchange with East Wake High School and will be only a few miles away from Nightdale High, opening up more convenient dual enrollment opportunities in partnership with Wake County Public Schools. Well, we believe at Wake Tech that Eastern Wake 4.0 site is where we need to be. Uh, it rounds out our college campus, if you will. We have campuses, Northern Campus, Original Southern Campus, two campuses in Western Wake. Eastern Wake, we have a small training site, but we don't have a, a strong presence. It's a, a place that we think we're needed as Wake Tech. Uh, it's an area of our community that's growing. Wendell, Wendell Falls, Zebulon, Nightdale, some of the fastest growing communities in North Carolina, not just in Wake County. It's an area that is housing affordable, and that means for many of the Wake Tech families who look for Wake Tech, many of them will be locating in this region as our area grows. It's also an area that uh, struggles more than other parts of the region in terms of educational attainment, high school attainment, college going rates, and college completion attainment. And so we think we can make a big difference here in Eastern Wake. Another big reason is at Wake Tech, we don't want to just be a part of an economic recovery. With our economic and educational collaborators, we want to lead an economic resurgence for this region. What it's gonna mean, not only for our entire county, but for Eastern Wake uh, in particular. And to me, it, it really signifies something that Wake Tech's been for a long time, which is a, a true driver of growth in our community. So in this sense, this new campus aligns with the growth of our community and the future growth of our community. And so it's this perfect alignment between the, the demographic growth that we're going to see in Eastern Wake County in the years to come, as well as Wake Tech's continued support for economic development and economic mobility in our community. Um, I'm really excited about the prospects for, for the campus and for Eastern Wake County. The reason we call this 4.0 site is this will be a new site for us in terms of a new technology future, the future where operations and infrastructure converge with information technology in a world of the Internet of Things, which will change the dynamics and the skill sets and the employment opportunities for technicians with the right skills to work in that new connected economy of infrastructure and technology. And for Wake Tech, with this Eastern Wake Tech, Eastern Wake 4.0 site, we'll be right in the middle of that sweet spot as we move forward. Phase one of the site development will provide for two state-of-the-art facilities that will further us down this road. A Tech 4.0 facility will house programs supporting smart manufacturing, including mechatronics, microelectronics, and automation. Well, this new site for us is not just about new geography. It's about new opportunity, new employment opportunities, and really a new technology training and education future for Wake Tech. In addition to supporting these program areas, the Tech 4.0 facility will also support our new apprenticeship partnership with the National Association of Tower Erectors, focused on the repair and maintenance of 5G cell towers. And it will also serve as a new home for our biopharmaceutical technology program and an additional site for non-degree biowork training that supports companies like GlaxoSmithKline in nearby Zebulon. We're also collaborating very closely with our educational partners. Uh, East Wake High School, right around the corner here. That's not by accident, that's part of the strategic reason for us to be here. Nightdale High School, just down the road, places we need that presence, and so our conversations with our great partners at Wake County Public Schools. But we're also very excited about that connection we will bring with our university partners. The partnership between the Colossal Wake Technical Community College and NC State is strong. Uh, we are very fortunate to have uh, that collaborative engagement with you primarily through our College of Engineering and the Centers and Institutes, uh, for sake of example. So the partnership, I think we just uh, alluded to this fact that one plus one, the quintessential partnership of Wake Technical Community College and NC State, that equals 4.0 in our, in our map. 
This site will also be a co-location site as we've had uh, these first discussions and very positive discussions with our partners at two universities, East Carolina University and Elizabeth City State University. Those two partnerships are so important for us because in our applied degrees, those skill-focused, industry-driven degrees, the opportunity for those degrees is they provide the skills that our students need for jobs, but sometimes our students want to and need to go further to get a bachelor's degree so their careers are not stunted, if you will, that they have opportunities to explore supervisory and further career development. This is just one of the most exciting things that, that I can imagine, to, to have Wake Tech uh, move into the eastern part of Wake County more accessible um, to and strengthening the partnership between our, uh, our university and, and the community. College. The second centerpiece facility of Phase 1 will be our Public Safety 4.0 building and an adjacent Public Safety driving track. Central to this unique facility will be a simunition center, a mini city if you will, housed within the building that will prepare our first responders with realistic simulations of the real life emergency situations that confront them in their important roles. To support these efforts, this facility will serve as a new home for our emergency management technician programs. In addition, it'll be home to state-of-the-art labs for training opportunities in unmanned aircraft systems and will be bordered by a UAS, an unmanned aircraft system pavilion. And then the new partner we're very excited about is Elizabeth City State University, North Carolina's leader in aviation based university programs, uh, UNC's designated leader for aviation. The City State University is the only university in North Carolina that offers a four-year degree in aviation science. So we are thrilled to lead as we prepare students for the aviation uh, industry. We have a pipeline of students who prepare to go into either aviation, avionics, aviation management, unmanned aircraft systems, or air traffic control. And so we have a full degree program with an array of options for students to choose from. And so we're quite uh, positioned in a way that this uniqueness of this program will provide opportunity for partnerships such as the partnership that we want to pursue with Wake Tech Community College. As Eastern Wake 4.0 fosters strategic connections with our outstanding educational partners, there's no doubt that Wake Tech's closest educational partner is Wake County Public Schools. With the strategic proximity of East Wake High School, Nightdale High, and other high schools just a short distance away, these connections along with the on-site engagement with university partners will help us pull tight the seams in seamless education. This will be further made possible over time as Eastern Wake 4.0 evolves into our seventh comprehensive campus, which is our goal. Phase one development will also include a 100,000 square foot general education and student services building, and dependent on available funding, a fire rescue center with a fire tower and dive pond. Phase one development should wrap up in five years. Phase two development, as indicated in our master plan design, will include a STEM building, a workforce continuing education center, and an innovation center that could support a makerspace. Down the road, phase three is envisioned to include a business and information technology building, a second general education building, and a strategic area for potential housing and a parking deck with retail space. This is such an exciting opportunity for families and potential students and even employers in Eastern Wake County. And I am so excited to see the continued growth of Wake Tech and the beginning of the construction of their seventh campus and I can hardly wait to see it open. This is an incredibly exciting day for Wake Tech but more importantly the citizens of Wake County. No organization touches more people and changes more lives than Wake Tech. And that's because of the unwavering commitment of our community to education and the leadership of our county commissioners. They understand the importance of education and that education is the great equalizer in life. And I'm really thrilled for what this is going to do for Eastern Wake. Eastern Wake has a lot of technology and manufacturing technology and we're bringing a new manufacturing technology training center to this part of the county and I believe this is going to be a huge economic driver for the eastern part of the county and we're thrilled to partner with Wake Tech to bring this. 
If you can dream it, you can become it because Wake Tech can provide the way. The level of partnership that are going to happen with industry and other businesses, specifically here in Wake County, to give you your dreams are going to happen right here on this campus. So it is an incredible honor to be working with Dr. Rawls, Rawls and the board at, at Wake Tech to create this vision to make the lives of our citizens at Wake County better every day. So today marks the beginning of Eastern Wake 4.0 at Wake Tech Community College. It's a big plan that is worthy of a big college with a big mission to support equitable access to education that transforms lives through economic mobility and personal fulfillment.